series convoyed across the border into Mexico. But once there, it was just another day at the races. The series, temporarily renamed El Mundo del Banditos, saw the 30-lap main event paced by Steve Kinzer and Lee Brewer on the front row. The sun-drenched 3 8 mile oval quickly developed one groove, which became the only safe way around. The first five green flag laps belonged to 1S Brewer and number 11 Kinzer. The two front runners made a sprint car sandwich of 20Z, the lap car of John Zeal. Kinzer's outside line allowed him to take first. Two laps later, while out of the groove, Brewer looped it in turn four. After the restart, Kinzer had a clear track while 7TW Kenny Jacobs and number 77 Stevie Smith battled for second around lap traffic. Kinzer still wasn't home free. First, he ran up on lap traffic and ran over his front row companion, Brewer. After a minor excursion out of the park, Kinzer came back on track, still in first. With only six laps to go, number eight Craig Keel and 32U Jim Carr got bunched up and Keel tumbled down the track with leader Kinzer just getting by. The defending World of Outlaws champion maintained his lead to take his first A feature win of the year. I thought I'd hit hard enough around the backstretch once to knock a front end out of the car, but it, it stayed underneath it, and uh, we survived that. And then I about got into another lap car coming down the front chute, and we survived that. And then, and then when Craig got upside down, I thought he was going to land right on time, and we survived that. So uh, uh, I guess you could say everything was going right, and uh, we did get to the checker first. And Behind Kinzer in second was Kenny Jacobs, third was Stevie Smith, fourth Andy Hillenberg, and completing the top five was Danny Lasowski. For his win, Kinzer added another $15.6 million to his winnings. That's about $5,200 American. I'm Neil Kassebaum reporting for On Pit Road. Coming up, where have all...